I'm Hillary E. Christensen and this is my story. I'm 24. I'm from Cache Valley. I graduated from Utah State with my bachelor's and master's degree. I am a business owner. I own a gluten-free bakery and I've been married for like five and a half years and I have a one-year-old son and I'm gonna have another son any day. Love to me is accepting somebody and loving them unconditionally, which you hear unconditional love, but meaning that their behavior doesn't affect the love that you have for them. Like if somebody does something to you or they make a choice that you would have preferred a different choice, you still love them and that doesn't change based on their behavior. And so to do that for myself is something I've had to learn a lot recently in the last two years. Um, so I have to extend that same courtesy to myself that I might wish I would have behaved differently or I might have wished that I would have done something else, but still loving myself and knowing that I still matter. So I had a hard time conceiving children and then I conceived my son and he was a huge baby and he was a horrible pregnancy. I mean, I'm going to hold it over his head for his whole life. And then he was like 10 pounds, two ounces in this big baby. So obviously I was quite large and you know, your body just goes through all these weird like stretch marks and like bloating and your feet grow like two sizes and nobody tells you that you have to buy new shoes too. And so all of these different things. And then I got pregnant again so quickly that my body hadn't fully recovered from my first pregnancy. And now I'm pregnant again, about to have another baby. <laughs> so you're like, Whoa, what am I doing? So I had to learn to accept that it's okay that I grew a human and this is like, these are my battle scars and I need to be proud of them. Mentally, I want to be healthy and physically too. So like, yeah, you exercise and you take care of yourself. It like allows you to appreciate what you can do as a person and as a human being. And so just experiencing that and even you experience so much going to college, you just learn all these things that you didn't think you could do and you really can and we set our own limits. So it's just realizing we don't need to set those. My husband has had celiac disease his whole life and I've had it my whole life, but I didn't get symptoms until I was um, a late teenager. I was 18 and I was dating my husband and he, I was getting sick a lot and I just lots of digestive issues and throwing up and I'd get rashes on my face and on my skin everywhere. And he's like, you have celiac disease and it's hereditary. I'm like, nobody in my family has, I didn't even like know what that was until I met you, but I just kept getting so sick. And so I went to the doctor and got a blood test and it said positive for that, but it could just be gluten intolerant. But then I was just so sick. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I think in, in women that's more common like your late teens to early 20s is when you really get sick and then they did the biopsy. So there's like gluten intolerance and there's celiac disease. And gluten intolerance is like lactose intolerance, like it bothers you and you have symptoms, but it doesn't really do any damage to your body. Um, but having actual celiac disease, it kills the, there are villi in your intestines that line your intestines, intestines and they are responsible for absorbing vitamins and minerals. And so if you have celiac disease and you eat gluten, it kills those villi and they don't regrow. And so if you've done all this damage and then you don't have any villi, you can't absorb vitamins and minerals. And so then you can die of malnourishment. And so I just studied in my undergraduate degree, gluten-free baking and did a big research project on it. And started a gluten-free bakery. It's called Wheat Your Heart Out, and it's just online. You just go online and place an order, and then we deliver.